to one side. Your eyes were open and fixed on Tom. Here, uh, his head, still beautiful, was bent over my paint. You will stay. everyone hello welcome back to my channel my name is Tally today is Thursday January 27th tested positive for COVID this morning had a headache and then I started feeling congested um, my throat hurt a little bit better today um, I went to get tested yesterday I called off work so I'm gonna be off for the pat for um, today tomorrow and hopefully I'll be back Monday because CDC they did announce that um, if you get COVID, you have to quarantine for five days, and then after that, you have to wear your mask for the next couple of days. Obviously, um, we're still in a pandemic, and we should still wear our masks, even if you're vaccinated or not. Still okay right now. Just my anxiety is like up the roof right now, but I'm trying to relax, be in my room for the next few days. So yeah, let's do our makeup. So first, I'm gonna start out with what do we start with? Oh yeah, I already applied toner. Niacinamide, you cannot mix it with vitamin C. So I'm going to apply some absorbic acid. Don't apply it around your eyes because, because then they will get dry. So I just got ready for nothing. No, I don't know. It's just something about a full fresh face of makeup that makes you get ready for the day even though you're not going to do anything. I'm having some coffee. I was watching something on Netflix right now while doing my makeup, but now I'm going to start reading The Firefighters. So my mom just made me some oatmeal with blueberries and I'm going to eat that. But first, I wanted to update you guys with my readings. I have been reading My Policeman by Bethan Roberts and I am loving loving this book. I'm also reading The Cellar which is a horror um, story. It does have many triggers. Um, death, murder, blood, gory, rape. It is a psychological thriller um, following Summer who is trapped in, in a cellar with the man who took her. His name is Clover. He's fucking crazy and a fucking psycho. She's also trapped with three other girls, Poppy, Rose, and Violet. He calls these girls his family. He calls them after flowers. He renamed them after flowers and it's really spooky. It's crazy. Um, because you would, like when you're reading the story, you're like, I never want to go through this because this is fucking scary. I don't know what I would do. I'm on page... 110 I'm 32% in and basically right now summer has been in the cellar for maybe six days already so it does go back from the perspective of summer and the perspective of basically all the characters which is very interesting and what I really like I like reading books that have different perspectives so we know exactly what is going on summer has a boyfriend his name is what's his name I forgot his name, Owen. I'm not sure. He is still looking for Summer and it's been six days already. Everyone's freaked out because they haven't um, found her. They think she's dead. And then it switches from the perspective to Summer of what she's going through inside the cellar of how these other girls, they're like, a, they have accepted that they're going to stay there in the cellar and they are not trying to escape. Clover guy, I, he obviously, it's already telling us that he has a mental illness. He has murdered already like eight people. He likes having his house clean. He takes showers like two times a day. I'm not like very thrilled about the story, but I, I am liking it. I plan on reading both of these books. Hopefully I can finish them. So yeah, enjoy my reading vlog in quarantine. I guess we can call it. We're gonna watch a lot of movies. We're gonna read a lot, eat a lot. We'll see what happens. Cheers, if you're enjoying your coffee, cheers.
my friends. I'm gonna move you over here. But <clears throat> it is now 3 o'clock p.m. I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable. I don't know why. But I feel okay right now. I don't feel like extremely, extremely sick. But there are times when I'm just like very like, <clears throat> like I'm like, I think it's my anxiety. My policeman, um, I read a little, um, I mean, I watched a little bit of Shameless on Netflix and I had lunch. So I'm going to read a little bit more and just relax. I'm still in bed. I'm on page 240. Yeah, 240. Sister just set up my dinner for tonight. I'm eating some marbondigas. And she brought me water and some vitamin C. I'm actually really hungry. Okay, hello my friends. So it is now 7.20 p.m. I just had dinner. I had on bondigas. It's been... It's been... 24 hours that I've been in my room now. I'm still reading my policeman um i've been editing a video for the past hour 40 pages left so i'm gonna try to finish this right now but i have some vitamin c drink i feel like really motivated to read I am on page 286 and I think this book is about to make me cry. Neither of you looked my way and I left you alone together, closing the door softly behind me. I won't look in on you again. I'll leave this page on the kitchen table in the hope that Tom will read it to you. I hope he will take your hand as he does so. I cannot ask for your forgiveness, Patrick, but I hope I can ask for your ear and I know you'll have been a good listener. Home. I just finished my policeman and wow, it's about a confession written in the form of a letter to two lovers as he's on his deathbed. I just finished putting on my collage. It's so freaking beautiful. Ah, it's so exciting.
this iced coffee and it's so so freaking good i can't believe i've never gone to this um this donut place before Hello friends, so it is maybe 4 o'clock, I'm not sure what time is it, but I had a panic attack today, this morning, so I did have to go to the hospital, I feel kind of embarrassed because there's like lots of people that are sick with COVID and are sicker than me, you know, okay now I'm gonna do lots of resting drink lots of fluids, but I'll be okay. <laughs> 